Howdy friends. Today we're out in McDowell Mountain Regional Park again, hiking out to a spot that we kind of briefly covered in a previous video. You can see up there if you want to. We're going to go a little bit more in depth on Dixie Mine and the Dixie Mine Trail, which I am walking right now. As you can see, there's four peaks off in the distance in the clouds there. It's got a bunch of snow on it. So today is Saturday. And on Monday and Tuesday this week, we got a bunch of snow here in the valley. Looks like it is all melted off the mountains down by me, but snow came down to about 2,000 feet here. My hometown here, the elevation ranges between like 1,500 and 2,200 feet. So it was weird. Some parts in the town were getting an absolute downpour, and other parts were getting snow. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And driving around town, you'd go between the layers where that snow line is. It's very odd. Here's some water. <laughs> we'll see if any is running off the mountain. It's really felt good to get out and go for a hike today. It's a be just beautiful weather. A couple little clouds, about 60 degrees out. In the sun, it's a little warm. In the shade, it's a little cool. It's just about perfect and even for a nice good hiking pace though. The desert just is its own beast, you know? Gotta love all the just otherworldly plants that live here. Crazy. Here's that side entrance. It's kind of crazy how critters go in and reclaim it for nature once humans are done. Definitely shouldn't go in there though. It's double locked. And since it's a uh, uninspected and unmaintained mine, it could be very, very dangerous and you could get a collapse happening on you and you could die. So don't do that. I'm just going down behind that hill. I think we're about to go around this hill. So we're going to go back out the way we came and then around like this on the other side of the mountain and then back. I honestly don't know <laughs> how many miles it is. I know it's some beautiful trail though. So we're going to give it a go. It's uh, 325 right now. Sunsets around 5.30, so I got like two hours of light left. And if I don't make it back by then, I have a headlamp and uh, some uh, jackets and stuff. So I'll be fine, I came prepared for that. Ugh. Most of the time I night hike this one, funny enough, so it's weird seeing it during the day for once. <laughs> I'm sure the sunset will just look beautiful from here. Let's go, uh, 
Let's go find that sunset, shall we? So that's the way we came down from the top of the mine and now we're going over this way. If you're trying to replicate this route, it might get a little confusing here. Uh, there's a lot of little side paths you can take off this road and um, just look for the trail sign and that'll point you in the right direction and keep an eye out for uh, the other trail signs because they'll keep you on the right path so you don't get lost out here. So we're going up and over this ridge and then around that little set of mountains and hills. So really should be a great little hike. So just in case you're curious and new to hiking, the type of route that we're doing right now, instead of it being an out and back, it's what's known as a lasso loop. So imagine the shape of a lasso, you know, you got the rope and then a big circle. So basically what we did is we hiked out to Dixie Mine. Now we're doing a big circle around that Dixie Mine area and then hiking back out, back to the car. So it's kind of like a hybrid between a loop and an out and back. So got one portion of the hike that's a loop, one portion that's out and back, and that makes a lasso loop. Yay. <laughs> this will be, this is my second time on this part of the Dixie Mine Trail going up this hill. Last time I hiked it was actually for that last exploring McDowell Mountain Regional Park video I did. If you uh, click the little cards thing up there, you'll be able to pull that up from earlier. Oh, this is a beautiful hill and I know from the top this view is going to be pretty magnificent. Pretty epic view of the mountains here. As you can see the snow is still sticking up there on Four Peaks. And there's the mountain we're kind of hiking around. Very exciting stuff, guys. So now we're getting off Dixie Mine Trail. We're gonna go on the coach whip. Well, this is a rather peculiar saguaro. When it died, it looks like it fell over onto this tree, which kind of supported it. So it didn't fall all the way to the ground. So we were walking across this ridge line after leaving the mine, and I came down this way. And we're going over there. Here's our little hill, and the mountain you see with those antennas back there, that's Thompson Peak. Very prominent peak you can see from the valley uh, in Scottsdale and in Phoenix. Kind of a good landmark for where this all is, if you want to try and sort that out. <laughs> so friends, you might notice my shirt. It says salute to service. I got this shirt Veterans Day a few years back while I was still at Arizona State. And I wore this shirt because there's actually a big event that's going to be going on in February, so a couple days from now. It's a event by Stop Soldier Suicide, which is a awareness and fundraising nonprofit that, like the name says, aims to stop soldier suicide. So those of you who live in Arizona, there's actually a whole event going on called the AZ 100 Challenge to raise, to raise awareness for Stop Soldier Suicide. We're gonna try and get a bunch of people together to do 100 miles of hiking, running, walking, whatever. Just go out even on a treadmill or an elliptical. So over the course of the whole month, month of February, we're trying to get people to put in 100 miles over the whole month. So some people are choosing to do that all in one shot, do a 100 mile marathon. Crazy people. 
some people are just doing, you know, a little over three and a half miles each day of the whole month of February to get their 100 miles, however you choose to do it. I'm gonna be participating and I'll leave some info on how you can participate in the video description down below. right here is the namesake for the trail. It's one of the windmills out here. And these windmills used to pump water up out of the ground for a rancher that used to own all this land. A man, his name was uh, Henry Pemberton, and he owned this land right around the turn of the century. I think he perished in the 1920s. And it was his ranch land that was sold off to be developed into the nearby town of Fountain Hills. And parts of it were kept safe to be a regional park, which is where we are now. So there's one of the old windmills from the wells. There's an old well map that a friend of mine and I found. And we might have to do a few more adventures out here looking for these different wells and finding what history we can about this beautiful mountain range that's so close to civilization. You know, you come out here and you just forget that humans even exist. Over on that other hillside over here, you can actually see some little game trails that have been pushed through the grass. There are actually a lot of animals that call this area home, such as uh, mule deer, Mountain lion, desert tortoises, quail, doves, probably some bobcat, coyotes, javelina, and all sorts of other birds, actually. It's a very diverse area. It's cool being able to see signs of those critters around here. All right, so here's the trail that would take you up to East End over there, and Tom's Thumb, and all that sort of good stuff. There's actually some really good sport climbing up in that area. As you can see, those giant boulders make for quite a climbing surface, apparently. So we're just gonna keep going straight here as we begin to wrap around over yonder. So I misspoke. This is actually Windgate Pass and Bell Pass is over this hill. We're now taking the Bell Pass Trail, though, to get back to start going around this hill because this is the hill Dixie Mine is in, going this way to start looping back around. The sun is starting to get a little low in the sky. It is currently 440. <laughs> so we're gonna try and hustle it a little bit to get back home. This trail is super high quality. It's a little mushy from the rain earlier this week, but honestly, it feels kind of nice on the joints. Some fantastic work by the McDowell Sonoran Conservancy and the other groups that work out here. Keep up the great work, guys. Thank you so much for this beautiful trail to walk on. Pass. We just came up that beautiful valley. Absolutely crazy. We're going to start going down this way. 
back to the mine. This is that mountain I was telling you guys about where the mine is in. So as you can see, it's gotten a little bit darker. Golden hour setting in beautifully. So as we make our way down the mountain, let's talk a little bit about the stats of this trail that I took. Kind of improv today. Overall, this route ended up being around 10 and a half miles. As you can see from the trail signs during this hike, you could feasibly start this area from several different trailheads, but I chose to start my journey from the Golden Eagle Trailhead at the end of Golden Eagle Boulevard in Fountain Hills. It's about two and a half miles out to Dixie Mine, and then a five mile loop around, and then two and a half miles back out. You could also start from the Tom's Thumb Trailhead, but it would be a lot more elevation change and about a mile more distance. You'd be doing about 11 and a half miles with some really crazy elevation change added onto it, but you could get there. Overall, I'd say that this loop, just because of the distance, would be a more intermediate to advanced hike, but the trail is designed in such a way that the elevation gains really don't feel that severe, and you get some amazing views from ridgelines all throughout this little trek through the desert. I really hope you enjoyed following along on this adventure today, and if you want to try and do this hike yourself, you can find a link to a map down in the video description, as well as a full gear list of what I took on this journey with me. Be sure to check that out, and if you want to buy any of that gear, use the links, because they're Amazon links that help support the channel, and I'd really appreciate the support. So friends, now we're on the Prospector Trail which goes over one of the ridge lines beside the mine. So that way is where the mine is. And behind me, up, up this mountain, kind of, is where we just came from. So we're working our way back down the ridge line, back into that valley where we started next to the mine tunnel and all that business. So now we're on our way downhill. Oh, Golden Hour is just glorious right now. I'm so happy that I'm out here right now. I hope y'all are enjoying it as much as me. It's crazy out here right now. Such a blessing to behold it. Thompson Peak Road. We just came from the Bell Pass Trail. So we just came down the hill. Here's Dixie Mine. And there's our trail to go back home. Feels like I'm walking in a painting. This is crazy. So pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hey friends, we still got about three miles to go and the sun is rapidly setting. So I don't know how much more of this adventure I'm gonna be able to film for you guys and have it turn out looking decent, but I just wanted to take this opportunity while we're still in the light to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please hit that like button down there in the lower left to tell the YouTube algorithm that you appreciate my work and it'll help get some more people watching these videos. If you think I earned it, please hit that subscribe button down there as well so that you can be here for future videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. You stay groovy.